hello friends today i'm going to show you how to drop a login and it uh, dependent users uh, we all know that uh, the user um, a, log, a single login can have multiple users in all multiple databases okay so if you drop the login so the login will get dropped at that time users will get often okay this is the one of the scenario now when now what i want when i when i am going to drop the login in and it respective user should also get drop so by default it is not possible uh, so i got one excellent query from the internet uh, so here so i just change something here print at the date commands there is something rise error is there okay so why because if it is a db1 switch it has to print command so if it is other than that it has to execute this command okay so now i am going to create one login so here new login harsha 123 i am selecting sql bar 123 123 enable sign in server role sysadmin user mapping so dummy database uh, db owner distribution database db owner uh, master db owner msdb data writer so i have given uh, these permissions and everything okay so you can change the user if you want okay but make sure that your user should have uh, another name okay that you need to think for example i am giving to harsha1234 here click okay in the msdb database so this is the scenario now here what i want to do here so here i know that uh, if you if you are going to drop any database uh, sorry any login first check the login it here and go to server role so user mapping and see that user names are same or not if same if doesn't same you have to pass uh, that uh, what is the extra name another for second time first uh, see i am uh, passing arsha123 and arsha123 so if i switch is 1 0 it will drop the login and users i am going to switch to the 1 so to see the print statements if i see here okay see I got the uh, all the statements if you copy and open the notepad and you can see this so it is dropping the first it is distribute uh, database uh, going to distribute and see Arsha if exist okay if it is drop it is going to print message otherwise set uh, begin set error count else so like this it is going to own schema cannot be dropped okay so it is going if it is if any, any error it is there it will uh, prompt that error so like this it will uh, i have given complete statements but begin it is given complete statements right uh, so uh, so here i am having uh, this print statements got truncated because print statement have some limitations it will displace only for certain part only due to that it will not get a full result okay in place of uh, zero now in place of uh, one here i'm uh, give, uh, it's already been zero right so now if i click execute here so now i have given one two three four in database but let's see how it works here see asha one two three database the user has been dropped in the dummy database in the master database but in the msdb it is going to drop m1234 database here what is the name it is just taking as a reference but it is in the in the back end it is also uh, that, uh, fetching the mapping exact login as well uh, from for the login okay uh, in the respective databases so it is going to draw is uh, draw, it's all these database got deleted now go say so here right now i have one two three right just refresh it here see what should asha one two three four user database go, uh, user has been dropped if i refresh on the instance go to login and go down refresh it 
now go to security login see harsha 123 uh, login has been dropped so this is how uh, the script will work so if you are having the same situation you can make use of the script and have a fun i hope you may like this video uh, please comment your opinion if you like uh, or if you have any additional uh, feedback to me thank you